Hey everyone, Bando here with another video of mine. And this is part three of the QAVR. Woo! So we will be using this quick swap power distribution. So let's get it out. So basically this enables you to have one power and then a couple of accessories and it also has these two millimeter um, sockets for you for um, your bullet connectors for your ESCs which we will do in the next video so it melt something like this and we will be soldering all the pins so you got your pins in here Let's get the pins out. So you got these pins, these two pins. Got one, and got two. And these go in like so, like that. And make sure, and then you also get four of these cables so it can connect like so. Connect like so. So this enables you to um, quickly swap out, quickly swap out um, ESCs. If you break an arm, you can quickly swap out an arm in the middle of a race. You can swap the ESC or the motor, and um, these these servo cables are actually for the top place so when this part is sticking out sorry for the background sounds my annoying sister is on her phone and brushing at the same time and it basically connects like this and then you can connect this to your flight controller so we will be um, <clears throat> we will be doing that in this video as well and yeah, we will be soldering, so I'll see you guys outside. Alright, so we are outside. I got my soldering tip here. And you want to first tin it. And I'm using this conical tip right now. I'm going to tin it and scrape, it up, scrape all the things off. Nice and clean. And then I do have this stock solder on. So you want to cut that off. You don't want to use stock solder. And you want to strip it off. So this is 20 AWG. So you want to get to the 20 place. So it's at 20. And then if I can get it off. You get it off. Yeah, I got it. So you got that, and then you want to twist it. Oh, dang, this stuff is crazy. The solder is crazy. They soldered the whole thing. Dang, dang. Back at it again with soldering way too much. This, yeah, you want to twist it. Ugh. You want to always use your own solder. Don't want to use the market solder. And then, I almost forgot. You need to get your rubber grommet and put it on like so. Like so. All the way to the end. And like that, and then you want to use a pair of helping hands or anything. You don't have to use it, but I like to use helping hands. Make sure you don't have a mask. I'm not using a mask because I'm in the area. I'm outside right now. And then you try to put my gloves on. Try to turn it again. Get that nice clean tip. 
and then we put solder on. Oh, put some solder. Heat that iron. Heat that wire up. There you go. Got it. You want to soak it in solder. Let's soak. You don't want to put too much, just enough. And then you can do the same for your other solder. Other wire, like that. Kind of smoothing it out. All right, and then clean it. Now you got your bat tori, and I'm not sure what side it goes actually. I think it should go like that, like that. You guys can see. Okay, I'll I'll just try this for now. I think this is how I'm supposed to do it. So let's tilt you guys down. And so this is positive, so go like this. We're gonna do positive first. Just cleaning my tip. So what you wanna do Heat up the pad. Apply the solder. So you got a nice bubble. Like that. You guys can hopefully you guys can see that. But now I got a nice bubble and then you wanna do the same. Making sure you have a clean solder tip, or else solder won't flow. Put solder. This is a conical tip, so it's gonna take a while to heat up. And you're done. Now, you can get your wires. Uh, you can get your wire. Uh, sorry. And then, get some solder on. I need to first do the pad because the pad tends to. There we go. Come on, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Incredible job. That's terrible. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Why am I using such a bad solder? Point. There you go. Melt it, melt it, melt it. No, 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 no. Ah, finally. That was stressful as poop. Now we're done with that. <sighs> So we did that. Finally did it. Took a bit of effort, didn't it? And now now it looks nice. So it should look like these. 
I think I put a little bit too much solder. And then you want to do it for the ground wire as well. All right, so I did it. Took a while, but I did it. So now we put the pins on. So you can even find one. Oh wait, no. You have to do the aux. So this is an auxiliary. I shortened it. Like, see how, see how I shorten it? You can shorten it even more. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do that. So to shorten it, you just snip it off. And then this one, you can just use your fingernails. Ugh. If you have fingernails. Like, I don't. Okay, yeah, I don't have them. Okay, fine, I did it. And then, like that. I need some more. Come on. Or you can just do this. That works too. I snapped off too much. All right, don't do what I did. And then you want to twist it. Twist, twist, twist. And the reason why I twist is that you don't want any air air pockets because that can result into not a clear flow of electricity. So make sure you twist it nice and tight. And then you can get a tip, <clears throat> clean it. Some solder, clean, 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 nice and clean, and then let's actually put some solder on the pad first. Like so. So, and then use some helping hands for this guy. Uh, grab it like that. And put some salt ore. Heat it up. Like that. Then I put way too much solder. Let's screw it. And then we're done with those two wires. Alright, so we are going to attach this auxiliary right here. In like so. Some solder, and then uh, positive. So like this, Put you want a clean joint like that, nice and tidy. Make sure everything is on there, and now we can put the pins on where the heck did the pins go out oh, on the ground oh fudge, fudge, and fudge. so the pins go in like so and one thing that i just figured out is that you can put wires in like this This will act as a um, it like a heat sink, so it won't um, so it won't um, burn the plastic. Now I just lost a wire. Oh my god! Alright, so I found the wire. Trying to clean this.
And you want to have a clean tip. Clean, clean, clean. Now, you want to. So just do it like this. Well done. I think I burned something because it smelled like burnt plastic. Anyways, it should. Hopefully those things are not touching each other. These don't touch each other, so let me try see if I can fix that. I don't think they're touching. So, then you got your pins. And make sure you can access it, like if you can. Yeah, that's perfect. Or fit. Make sure you can take the pins out and put it back in. And you can go on the other side and put some solder in as well. Alright, so I'm done. And what you want to do is you, oh, fudge me. You want to go quick and fast when you're doing the solder. So, yeah. It's nice and straight in there and as you can see you can put it in and take it out easily you want to do that to the other side but before we do that what I want to do is um, let's see how you're gonna do this I want to put these wires in and connect it like so. So I'm gonna take this red wire out and leaving you these two wires, the signal on the ground. And then you want to find the signal on the PDB, which is the squiggly line. Oh my god. So I want to do with that. Connect it like so. Make sure it's the right wire. So this is the signal wire. And you want to do that for all of the wires. So see you guys. I don't want to film this because I'm in a really bad position to film it. So I'll see you guys later when I'm done. All right, so I finished. I got my auxiliary done. And I got all these pins in here. So one tip is that you wanna be very quick when you're soldering. See, this is, I stay too long on the joints trying to solder. But on this side, it's nice and clean. And then we also got our XC60 connected. And yeah, this is the end of this particular build. It took a while for me to build, but once I've got into a comfortable position, I could solder pretty quick. So yeah, I will. the next video will be on ESCs and all of those things. And then after that, we can go on to the FC and FPV system. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.